Today we're going to change a purchasing group on a purchase order. So the first thing we do is we go to ME23N. Once you're in transaction ME23N, that's the display purchase order. First thing we're going to do is make sure the document overview is on. If you don't see it, just click the document overview on screen. We're going to select a display variant. So if you go to selection variant, we're going to choose purchase orders. From here, we're going to blank out all the values we don't want to see. Typically, you put your document date. Um, if you go to the dynamic selection button, scroll up, there's, you can purchase order header item details. You can basically go to the header details. In this case, we're going to do created by. Within the created by section, we're going to say we want to see all purchase orders for Al Gerber. We're going to execute this. This will bring up a list of all the purchase orders. Um, we're going to basically pick the one we were going to change. There could be some good receipts and some deliveries against this already. There are three sections. There's the header, the item overview, and the item detail. So we're going to open the header tab. Within the header tab, there's an org data tab. This currently shows Sundry as the purchasing group. We're going to hit the edit button. And in this case, we're going to change from sundry to trade we're going to check to make sure there's nothing wrong with the po and then we're going to save the po that concludes today's lesson